What's up everybody, it's Jared Hamilton here with another edition of Driving Sales TV and today I'm sitting with Dan Moore, the CEO of Smartweb Concepts out of Northern California, out of Sacramento. I don't, what's a Groupon campaign look like? What kind of results are you, are you seeing from it? Uh, you know, generally for like the fixed ops, um, Groupon, you know, even using Facebook ads, things like that, um, the, the call to action there is just using some of the key discounts in you know, service, the regular lube oil filter. I mean, again, when we talk about fixed ops, their common competition is the Jiffy Lubes. Yeah. Right? And they're all over the place, good discounts, but yet their discounts really are no different than what an OEM store franchise can offer. It's just they're out there in that space. So I really go in and meet with fixed ops and help them and show them, hey, there is no difference. Would you like to take this business back and show them some of these strategies and it, it's get a good return for them. What kind of a discount does a dealer typically have to give up on, say, like a service? And is there a service attempt that you've seen that works good or that works doesn't if you're going to run a Groupon campaign? Uh, some of the, you know, some dealers have been aggressive with the 999 oil change. Um, some just go from a span of 10 to 20 percent, depending on what kind of service. So I mean, there's a lot of different um, different campaigns. It's variation. I've, yeah, absolutely. I've got one uh, one service department that actually, if you bring in two cans of food, you get 10 percent off any service. Just trying to give back to community. So nice wraparound. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do what kind of volume? So you get you do a Groupon campaign. You're like, hey, ten dollar oil changes. You need to get X, and then they typically you need know, you need to hit X for the, the coupon to trigger, and then there's the volume, the overflow on that. What yeah. kind of numbers are these stores driving? I mean, I haven't unfortunately really seen their back end numbers on what they have. I've set up the campaigns and let yeah. them kind of tell me they tell me that it's working, but again, trying to get them to hold the sourcing is, is a whole other challenge that we're still trying to work on. Yeah, I. I the Groupon thing I think is very, very cool. I think that that's a concept that's obviously very young, very fresh, but uh, I think as it hits the market, it has tremendous opportunity to pull in buyers that you either haven't seen in a long time or ever, right. and then hopefully create some loyalty from them. Obviously, it's a lost leader. And the, the thing with Groupon is you really have to have really you know, big, thick margins to provide the discounts and then still be right. able to break even. Or Because you know, if you're doing a lost leader and you expect to do you know, maybe – uh, 30 oil changes and you end up selling like 250 sure you can fill your service drive for you know like the next two right. weeks but if every deal if every RO that comes in is a loser it's sort of a frustrating yeah but you're looking at the you know obviously too the opportunity for warranty upsell yeah you know, right depending exactly. on season you may get the wiper blade package going in alongside so they're there now you come up for the upsell so I mean there's a lot of key triggers that you're utilizing to maximize that opportunity because again the drive was slow so now we have volume in there so let's look at the opportunity for the upsell which a lot of good um, you know fixed ops operations are really good with the upsell they just need the bodies right 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 everyone this is Dan Moore with smart web concepts again Jared Hamilton driving sales TV thanks for tuning in